Okay, let us take a good look at our retained income notes, everybody. So once more, we are provided with the information for the year ended 28 Feb 2018. We are dealing with Timbiso Limited, and we need to complete our retained income note for a grand total of seven marks. So immediately after the balance, we know that NPAT is coming through. Remember, I'm allowed to abbreviate because, well, God has given me that right. No, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Terrible joke. Um, I just abbreviate to save a bit of space. Um, please write out the entire thing, guys. Net profit after tax. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, this is my serious voice. No, no games are to be played in this video. So your net profit after tax amount that has been given to you as 959400 Next is always shares repurchased. And remember everybody, the average price goes to ordinary share capital. The difference, the difference between the total amount and the average amount that goes into retained income. And the difference has been indicated there. So it's 465 above the average share price, 465,000. So if you had the average share price plus this difference, that total figure, you would simply plug into cash flow. I've said it multiple, multiple times. It's very important that you understand that. Okay. And also shares repurchased. It's an outflow money going out. So just don't forget your brackets there. So after ordinary share dividends, we would have interim and final. Interim, halfway, final at your end. So interim dividends, final dividends. Remember, you write out the entire thing. So in order to calculate our interim amount, it was 30 cents per share. Now, this question was done in conjunction with ordinary share capital, but I've split up the videos just to make it a bit easier to go through so you guys don't fall off to sleep. So I will redo the calculation. So authorized share capital is 1,600,000 ordinary shares. Those are the amount of shares that we are allowed to issue. So 80% were an issue. So 80% of 1,600,000 is going to be 1,280,000. 300,000 shares were repurchased. And this is in chronological order. So it's an in time order of events. So yes, we factored that in. We factored that in. And now our interim dividends were paid. Remember, if we repurchase shares after the interim dividend was paid, then we would not factor in 300,000. But we repurchased it before. We repurchased it in May. We only issued dividends in August. So that's why we need to factor it in. And that gives us a grand total of 980,000. And it was at 30 cents per share. So that's gonna be 980,000 times 0, 0,3. And that gives you 2,9,4,0,0,0. Okay, so remember whatever is in bold is given to you in your answer booklet. So that 376 was given to us. The 384,600, let's just fill it in now. And that is pretty much it but how do we calculate the last two amounts please pause the video and have a good think about it we're dealing with some balancing figures here so remember this figure plus this figure gives you this figure ordinary share dividends but also look very carefully here i am going to change up the color so the balance plus the net profit after tax minus the shares repurchased minus ordinary share dividends, remember this is an outflow because we are paying it to our shareholders, is going to be equal to this 384600. So we can set up a nice linear equation here. So we can just call this amount x. I love setting up these small linear equations. It's just easier to deal with when you're calculating a balancing figure. Um, you know, unless your accounting knowledge is, you know, 10 out of 10, and you don't need to. But I always feel a bit safer here when setting up my own equation. So it's going to be 376600 plus 959400 minus 465000. Now you can say minus x or plus x, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, it's always better to say plus. And look, we know it's ordinary share dividends, right? So regardless of what we get, that is going to be an outflow, so don't forget your brackets. Just remember that. So minus x or plus x, it's still going to get you the right answer. And that is equal to 384000. And now some basic maths. I know a few of you are taking maths lit as well, some of the accounting kids. But, you know, if you didn't take maths before, just remember when dealing with these linear equations, whatever is on the left-hand side, we take over to the right-hand side so we can isolate our x value. So if it's positive on the left, it's negative on the right. 
So when we take it over, it becomes negative 376, negative 959, plus 465. And do that very carefully. X will be equal to 486,400. Just plug all that good stuff into your calculator after you have rearranged it. And we get 486,400. So the 294,000, again, plus X is equal to 486. So what is the missing number here? Feel free to pause the video and find out. It's 192,400. And that is the retained income notes. Remember guys, it's not too heavy. When you're calculating this interim dividend amount, make sure you look at things in the time order at which it happened and be very careful here with shares repurchased. It's not the average amount, nor is it the total amount, it's the difference. And be very careful when adding up and calculating your balancing figures. And that is it. You can do it. I believe in you.